What's up, guys? Memorable here. I'm playing some uh, some of this warring game. Uh, I don't think it's a new game, but it's a new release on Steam. Free to play. And when I'm playing this game, it's the most silent game ever. Like, you honestly feel like you're in a desert wasteland. It's just so silent and sad. I'm pretty sure that this is supposed to be dust off of Counter Strike, but it's like awfully done. This game is awful. I mean, this game is just honestly just garbage. And I understand that it's free, but they have like as soon as you open up this game, right? It comes up with this big screen. Buy this. Buy that. Buy this. One of them's like 15 bucks. One of them's 25. One of them's like 40 bucks. And the guy that just killed me, I think he had a G G11. You can buy that in a pack for 40 dollars. Really, forty dollars for that, along with along with some some of these battle points and um, gold points or something like that, and some other stuff. Maybe I think it comes with a hat. You see that this guy is right here. I think he's using the G11. And this uh, th this this is what you do when you spectate someone. From my from my experience, you can't free cam. You just you can spectate through the players, your teammates, right here. Look at you. These, these are your teammates right here. My two teammates. You can't. You can't move your mouse though. You can't look around. You can't move the. You don't even know what their names are. You can go ahead and tab it up, but you, you, it's either Vash or Captain Admiral that I'm watching right now. Apparently, it's Captain Admiral because I just watched him kill somebody. But, and it's in black and white. So when you die, it's it, it, it's you watching this black and white screen. It's this game is fucking pitiful. I understand that it's free, guys, but give me a break. This game is awful. This game is awful. I was watching some guy uh, from Next Gen Tactics while I was downloading it, because I like to, before I play a game or buy a game, whatever, I like to look up some videos on YouTube about it. I was looking up uh, Next Gen Tactics, that Guns for Hire guy. I think it's his name, Guns for Hire. Some fucking Nazi-looking guy with a, with a big-ass beard. That's what I'm talking about. So uh, this guy's saying, this game is phenomenal. That he that if if you follow his link then you'll you'll get these extra codes because of blah blah blah. Like listen listen to the gun sounds. You don't even know what's going on. You feel like you're shooting a three year old pellet gun, a pellet gun that a three year old would use. I mean sorry. So we're gonna go ahead and spawn with this AK and this other gun. This is my character. I'm, not, I'm wearing this mask and some some shit. I guess it pros over here are already prenating me or something. I'm about to die. I don't know. I, this game is just so pitiful. And, it, like, it's sad that the first thing that they do is go ahead and stress you out there. Get that guy. Now, let's try to pick this gun up. Oh, I got it. I got it. So I got a halfway decent gun, I think. That's better than what I had, I believe. It's it's sad really when you when you as you, soon as you start up the game it stresses you with all these things that you should buy it and then if you, if you click no it's like no I'm a rich corporate something blah 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 like it, it wants you to feel bad about yourself for not purchasing their their stuff they wouldn't make this game a paid game because nobody would play it then they probably just wanted people to play their game but it's awful I'm sure that 95 percent of the people that got on this game have played it for a few minutes and got off of it. Okay, so there's two or three there's three of them left and there's two of us. It's like this is like a like a counter strike mode. Like typical counter strike, plant the bomb. But if whatever, you all die then you all die and the game's over. Like even the this game runs like awfully for some reason, I don't know why. I mean, I shouldn't say awfully, but I'm pretty sure this game is capped at like 45 frames per second. I don't think it runs at 60, which is odd for a PC game, but it's whatever. It's not as enjoyable when a game's not running on 60 frames, when it evidently should be. Also, that Guns for High guy is saying how beautiful the graphics are. Show me. Show me. Where are the graphics beautiful? I haven't seen. Um, where are these guys? Oh, apparently they're behind me. I mean, not that I'd know, because it's it's you're in a desert wasteland in this game. You, it's the quietest game you've ever played. <laughs> Such a joke. God, I feel bad. I feel bad for the people that made this game, trying to make a little bit of money. 
I wonder how many people have actually bought shit. I feel like the people that bought shit are people that have never had money, and then they, they you know, their parents had, th their parents lost their job, so they played a free-to-play game, right? Am I right? There's a guy right there, I'm just running. Um, so go ahead and play this free-to-play game. Why aren't you dead, man? I don't know. Are you, d why aren't you dead there, dude? I don't know if you guys realize, but they even have the hit markers from Call of Duty. Because, you know, you can't make a game in this day and age without copying something from Call of Duty. Let's get serious here, guys. Call of Duty is so, so successful at being a shit game and appealing to the casual gamer that, you know, everybody just wants to copy something off of that game. What kind of gun sound is that? I'd love to know. It sounds like they took those things that, w w when you have a door, and you put that little spring thing in front of the door with the white end on it, well, that, that's what mine looked like, at least. And then you... Let's go ahead, I want to go ahead and flick mine, because I can see mine from here. Is that what they did for the P90 noise? Let's get serious here. This game's a joke. It makes me sad, really. I can't believe I wasted 45 minutes to download this junk. It's only a gigabyte, by the way. You guys can download it if you want, but I don't think it's... Oh, excuse me, I don't think it's really worth your time. Like, th this guy is an all-star. Your name's Four Eaters. You're 17 and 6, and you have a G11. You, so you spent $40 to get that gun. You spent 40 bucks, man. Like, are you honestly a joke? I just don't understand what some people think. It's like they haven't been... They haven't been introduced to games. It's, it's almost like this is the only thing that they know. This is the only thing that they've seen. They want to stick with this stuff. It's a joke. It's a joke. <clears throat> like, what What kind of spectating is this? What kind of spectating is this, man? I can't look around. WASD don't do anything. My arrow keys don't do anything. I can go ahead and talk. This game can suck a dick. Alright, let's go ahead and leave. Check out the menu and see what they got going on. See how much advertising they got going on here. Okay. Where would this be? Armory, maybe? Modify. Oh, so you start off with... You can pick this Night Stalker or the AK. Um, I don't see any reason why you would pick the AK. Because it seems to be that it's... It seems to me that it's it's worse in every way. If you look at the stats, the AK is 33 damage, 45 damage, 50 accuracy, 50 accuracy, 500 fire rate, 600 fire rate. This game, this gun even has more capacity in a round. So please explain to me why you even bothered giving that gun. All right, so where's the stuff that we can we can buy? Okay, so you start off with these with this one assault rifle. It's pretty much one assault rifle. You have no reason to use the AK-74, AK-74, or or you can uh, use this PSG-1. I believe that's in Call of Duty as well. So the hero abilities, you can have two of them, but you only you have to buy the other one. I believe you start off with one. You can put items in. Oh, you can actually put those in. I don't know why these wouldn't just be auto-equipped. I think that would make a lot more sense. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Like, where is the store? There's not even any music in this game. There's legitimately no music. I don't think there's any music. I don't have it... Maybe it's just really, really low. My overall quality is on low for the video. I thought that I mean medium high quality was running it was running at forty five frames, so I was kinda confused, but then I set it to low. It was still running at forty five frames, so I might as well just set it to high, you know. So where are we doing this? What are we doing here? Um Daily missions. I like everybody's gonna get on this game and do a daily mission. To turn to War of the War or World of Warcraft. <clears throat> the fuck are we doing here, man? Oh, you're coming soon, are you? Okay. There. I don't know how I missed that. It's a store. It's pretty obvious. Uh, let's see. Oh, Night Stalker set. 
only 12,450 GP? Yes, please. Can I please buy? Get item. I now have zero. You will have zero. Let's see what we got for gear here. Oh my god. Can I get this? No, I don't. I need a high, higher level. Like, could I get this? Get item. I, you, you have to pay money for this stuff. If you want to do anything in this game, you have to pay money. Guys, don't bother downloading this game. Don't let them see that they get traffic, because this company is evidently just a bunch of idiots. I honestly, I don't know who it's made by, but I'm just going to go ahead and assume that they're a bunch of idiots. Have no experience, evidently. And um, that one video that I watched of Guns for Hire, so I'll put that in the description or something, maybe I will. But if I don't, then if I forget to or something, just type in NGT, whatever this game name is, what is it called again? War Inc. NGT War Inc. Yeah, he brags about how well this game is put together and how, you know, it's a free-to-play game, guys. You know, since it's free, everybody's going to play it and you're just going to love it. You're just going to love it so much, you're never going to be able to not play this game. But that's not the case, the game is shit. So we're going to go ahead and exit, uninstall this shit. I'll see you guys later.